Today at HHC Diesel, we're going to do a visual demonstration of the way our new patent pending nipple cup design works. Uh, we make these out of hardened tool grade steel, and we have a deflection ridge built into the nipple cup to deflect any oil that happens to get past uh, the nipple cup seal. So if down the line, if you have replaced your nipple cup seals and they start leaking for some reason, uh, with our nipple cups, that oil is just going to travel up to this ridge here and be deflected safely away. Uh, Contrary to uh, the OEM and uh, aftermarket nipple cups you see, uh, where the oil just travels down the body of the nipple cup and it just hits the top injector seal and destroys it and you end up stranded on the side of the road or with a hot nose start. So ours will not do that, we guarantee them. Uh, they will not wear out. If you ever have any problem, just send it back and we'll send you new ones. Um, we spent about two years in R&D on this to get the, the size and shape of this ball just right so that it'll fit uh, perfectly in not only a new oil rail, but an old worn out oil rail as well. Compare that to the aftermarket nipple cups, which tend to be a little bit smaller than the, the OEM ones, and uh, you end up more prone to failure on the aftermarket ones. Plus all the aftermarket ones and the OEM ones are made of soft steel, whereas ours are hardened tool grade steel. So they're not going to wear out. This is the final step in bulletproofing the 6 liter diesel. So we've got a test set up for you guys here. In the first slot we've got one of our nipple cups with the groove. Can't really see it up there but we have the deflection groove up in there. In this slot we have a, an OEM nipple cup. And in this slot we have a standard aftermarket nipple cup. And we've got a high pressure uh, 10,000 PSI hydraulic pump here. We're going to try to get that up to about uh, 5,000 PSI if we can. Uh, but what we're looking for here is to see how the oil um, either travels along or does not travel along at all, in the case of ours, the nipple cup body. So let me see if I can get a good shot there. And let's go ahead and turn on the pump. So as you can see with both the aftermarket and the OEM, the oil is just completely following the body of the nipple cup all the way down to the top seal, whereas with ours it was being deflected out away from the body of the nipple cup. And we weren't even building up pressure there, we, were, we weren't even getting up like up over 100 psi. Up over, you know, up, you get up to about 3,000 3, psi and those seals really seat. Um, when you get a high pressure leak at that pressure, you're going to end up more atomizing than actually uh, sending solid oil down. And that's where ours is really going to shine. Like right here, that's just loose oil that's dripping down, hitting our deflection groove and then dripping down. But you can see uh, both OEM and aftermarket, even though those aftermarket uh, nipple cups are nice and cheap, you're going to end up stranded down the road. Might as well spend the extra money now and not ever have to replace them again. Uh, especially if you use our heavy-duty Viton O-rings, uh, you're going to be good for, for probably 100,000 miles or more. And then if uh, the nipple cup seals ever do leak, um, the oil is not going to go down and cause a no start. You're going to be good. So make sure you subscribe to our channel, check out our YouTube page, and follow us on Twitter. Uh, we're going to have more great videos coming up, and we're doing all kinds of giveaways. So what we've got set up here is a, uh, an oil reel off a of late model 6 liter diesel and a 10,000 psi hydraulic pump. We're actually powering it with uh, transmission fluid so you can see the nice red color. And transmission fluid is actually uh, much less viscous so it should leak out a lot better. And we're going to go ahead and put in one of our nipple cups. We've got them all plugged up on the bottom so they can't leak out the top there. Got one of ours, we've got an OEM, and we've got an aftermarket. And you should note that the aftermarket and the OEM are made of a soft steel and they wear very quickly. Um, and the aftermarket are actually uh, half a thousand smaller than OEM. And with all the wear that goes on in the oil rail and with the lock ring, a smaller nipple cup isn't exactly better. Ours is actually a half a thousand larger. So uh, we kind of fill up that gap of any wear that has taken place on your truck. So we're going to go ahead and uh, stick these in here. We've got uh, a nick in each one of these O-rings. 
we actually cut out a little groove. So we're trying to force them to leak. We got one in all three. These are all brand new, high quality HHC diesel Viton O-rings. Okay, these are heavy duty, but they should still leak because we got them cut. Then we're gonna go ahead and put a uh, top injector seal on each one. Um, we're thinking that the top injector seal will probably get blown off these two as long as we can get a good enough leak set up. But we're set up to get up to about 5,000 PSI here. So we're gonna go ahead and put these in now. This is actually the, the same tool we've been using in all of our testing. Uh, we keep trying to break it, but we just haven't been able to. This is the tool that we put up to 500 foot-pounds of pressure, and it still won't break. Uh, no matter what we do, we can't break it, and we're just going to keep using it in all our tests until we can manage to break it. Of course, if you're uh, doing your own oil rail, you would want to torque these to 100 foot-pounds to make sure you get a nice, even torque. We're just doing this for testing purposes. So, HHC diesel, OEM, aftermarket. And we're getting quite a leak already. And uh, that one there is leaking the most. Let's see if we can actually build up some pressure though. <laughs> 